Necromancer is one of the greatest class of all time, especially the magical version of it for the PvE content in the Elder Scrolls Online. And in the Deadlands patch, I like to introduce you the solo build content destroyer setup in this video. But before we jump into it, give a thumbs up, subscribe and comment below after afterwards the video, watching the video, what you think about it and give uh, give it a go by sharing with your friends and all etc so if you are ready get your popcorns and coffee ready and we just go and jump into the build itself I like this class in the trials especially but when it comes to solo play Necromancer also performs so well that I will leave a link down in the description and you can also reach to the performance showcase video the showcase of this build in top right corner of the screen and if you are ready we just go to the character sheet and then start off with the attributes this is a 64 magica first of all the thing and the second thing is the mandstone that we are using the thief and we are using the ghastly food and those are the stats as you can see completely unbuffed at this point and uh, the second thing that we are using is the spell power portion so if we pop up one and those are the stats as you can see it's still not completely buffed up stats though so just in case keep in mind there is no backbar proc, etc. and passives as well. And uh, those are the advanced stats. Here you can see some if you are interested into those things. And uh, yes, we will start off with the inventory. The next, the gear is the second thing. So we do have still the Mother Sorrow, you can also um, use Medusa, maybe if you like to, but we are using the Precise with the Flame Damage Enchantment Inferno Staff of the Mother Sorrow on the front bar. And uh, as a jewelry, we do have a necklace with the Arcane Spell Damage and uh, one ring with the Arcane Spell Damage again. And... The last piece is a one piece of the body, it could be anything, I just picked the leg because of the kilt, so I did replace it with the Mother Sorrow. And uh, there is a 6 light armor and 1 medium, all of them is divines and uh, all of them is enhanced with uh, maximum magicka on them. And. Uh, the second thing is that we have a Zan mask. You can uh, also use a slime crow. It was just on the other character, so I can't be asked to switch in between. But um, you can use Zan or slime crow. It doesn't matter too much. And uh, it is a medium armor passive that you also gonna get from the monster set as a one piece, and you will get uh, some passives from medium armor. And crit chance as well. This is good addition. And uh, the other thing actually on the back bar we do have milestone perfected inferno stuff with the infused and the weapon and spell damage glyph on it. And you just get more damage for your light attacks and a little bit offensive penetration. And the last set is the false god. And it gives you basically... Uh, Good damage output, crit chance, spell damage, and uh, sustain, speed, all of them at once. And this is a very quite cool. We are using it as a chest, shoulder, waist, hand, and the feet is the sets for that setup. Apart from it, moving to, who is this guy? Oh, the merchant. I like his back, to be honest. Look at that. Look how he walks. Look, look, look. Look how he walks. Little kit, kitty cat meow meow kajit. And uh, moving on to the skills. 
The first skill is the detonating siphon. You can use it on the corpses and it deals disease damage and increase your damage down by 3% just by slotting it. Inner light for maximum magicka and the crit on the front bar and uh, barb trap. It quite hit so hard and uh, gives you a 10% crit damage. And uh, blast bone is one of the skill that hits so hard and it kind of cost nothing at all like literally and our spammable is the skull in here it also hits the flame damage and uh, every time you do it it hits uh 20 percent more damage and as an ultimate we have flow stun breaker we are not using it too much by the way but when you use it, you get 300 more spell damage for 20 seconds. This is quite cool. And it just sits here on the bar for the fighter skill passives, as you can see right here. Uh, where is it? The Slayer. You get uh, just 6% more spell damage by putting Barb Trap and uh, Dumbbreaker on your bar. And on the back bar, we do have Skeletal Arcanist here. And it also creates a, cor a corpse on that as well, like the blast bomb. The blockade for proking the my storm's weapon. And intensive mander just to get a healing or shit moments and then you have a healing here. And it also make a corpse on the ground too, so you can use the detonating siphon right here and uh, deal damage. And the other one is a boneyard, uh, it hits kinda good and it also reduces the resistances of the enemy and uh, other people can use it you can actually use the other morph of the boneyard to proc it by yourself but it is not that necessary i mean yeah not that necessary and uh, the last skill is the structure and trophy from the major skill it just hits uh, damage over time 15k over 10 seconds unbuffed and 1.2k heal every two seconds and as an ultimate we have the destruction stuff ultimate as i said this is the most hard hitting um ulti in the game apart from it you also can uh use the colossus but the post pestilent colossus you know it hits much more hard not f compared to destruction ultimate though this is not hitting card but the Pestilent Colossus is for the Trials, just so you know. For the solo content, Destruction stuff, all the way, goes perfect. And, uh, obviously you get Light and Medium Armor passives here, Fighter Skilled, Major Skilled, Undaunted. And we are High Elf, and you get the Medical Use from Alchemy as well. And uh, those passives here, Destruction passives as well. And that's it for the skills. About the champion points, we will start off with the green one, you can do whatever you want to do in here, like it is completely up to you. On the red, we have a Bantus Vitality, 1.4k maximum health and 1.7k armor by fortified. And uh, the third thing, Survival Instinct, it just gives a little bit more sustain, 25% cost reduction when we got a them a uh, statue effect on ourselves and it just reduced the necromancer skills by 25% and the fourth one is also sustained by suffering when you get a negative effect on your character you get a 150 health magic and stem recovery and the rest is again completely up to you depending on your champion points but you can do whatever you want to get and whatever you could get you should get apart from those four things that i mentioned and on the blue one we do have fighting finesse it increases our crit damage and crit healing done by 10 percent is the first thing we do have in here the second one is a deadly aim to increase the single target attacks by 10 percent and uh, increase our damage done with direct damage attacks by 10% by having Master at Arms right here. And the last one is the Biting Aura, increase our damage done with AoE attacks, and which Necro has many of them, by 
10% by the way and the rest is completely up to you again but this is better if you get mighty and battle mastery here too because uh this is the necromancer thing you should get left side for the magic flame frost and shock damage and you should get right side as well for poison disease etc damage because necromancer is capable of doing those things as well and your spell damage will go very high with those things and uh for the rest you should get all those things as much as you could get reduced mitigation blah blah and uh like crit chance stamina magicka right here and all and those are the champion points and um before i end up the video i like to tell you that uh i use the character for quite some time and uh, i also made a video about the maestro marina so if you want to know how this uh character performs in the solo content like Vateshran and vma i'm gonna do the Vateshran as well and i will also put the link down in the description when i do it i just didn't went into Vateshran right now but i did play it in the my storm arena and uh, you can reach through the description and i hope you enjoyed the video give thumbs up like subscribe and comment below about what you think of this build and if you have any suggestion and anything else they are all welcome and also uh, I, I like to point out that uh, there's too many sets actually that you could use in this patch but um i don't think there's many difference in between all of them like literally as long as your skills your champion points and the race of the character and uh those things are uh fixed you know those things are good and well designed you did well designed and organized and it should work everywhere so until the next video take care of yourself